Awesome, hi, uh, welcome to another installment of Oko DBA Twitter. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to um, how to basically just execute a, a, um, a SQL statement using SQL Developer. And uh, so basically, uh, first thing you do is you, again, you, you right click on your um, connection, click on connect, put in your password, um, your end. So basically, next thing you do is Again, so uh, you can ex you, you need to expand your tables to see which tables you have in this in your in your connection in, in, in your in your user schema. And so I have um I have all these tables. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to actually um I'm gonna see what information I have in um let's say the locations table. So I'm gonna come to my window here and then type in select. Uh, let's say again. I, what I want to do is I just want to um, query um, like all the different uh, table uh, 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 ta uh, table uh, columns. So actually, before I do that, let me do this. I want to describe locations and then so basically this is the structure of my location table. So. Um, so uh, basically I just want to make sure we look at the number of columns that I have so what I'll do now is I'm actually going to query all of these columns select star from locations and again so one of the neat tricks about using using SQL Developer is basically it allows you to basically look at look, actually look at uh, the different objects as you are writing a query so uh, I'm just going to select uh, location from this drop down menu and then I'm going to run and basically this is, these are the, uh, the different um, row data that, that I have in my in my uh, location uh, table so basically um, again so you use a star um, to, this, to just get all the different value all the different uh, columns inside of your um inside of your uh, inside your table object and base in and if you wanted to not look at uh the diff the raw data but you just want to know how many rows you have inside of your uh inside of your uh, table you would just add count and then you put the star in in um in parentheses and then just derun it and this is the number of rows that I have in the locations table so let me do this i need to go back to i'm gonna run this statement again and let's say that i wanted to um not retrieve um uh, all these um, column uh, values all these columns i value from all these columns and now let's say i just wanted to retrieve a um, location id and the street address so what i would do is i would it, i would take away the star uh, again, I had a star. I was going to start before. Take it with a star, and then put in location. Select. And again, so if you look at what what you're able to do, so you put in. Select. You can um. Again, you can you can select uh, the the uh, whichever uh, column you want to query. Again, this is not very um. This is not very efficient in terms of timing. Uh, you know, kind of you know, like it's actually for you to write that script. So, uh, I'm actually just gonna type it in. So, location underscore ID, and then street underscore address uh, from location. Okay, let me run the statement. Basically, these are the these are the different values that I have in my um, in my two columns. So, pretty much, this is how you um, you query your table. And also, one of the things you can also do is, let's say you wanted to, um, I'm going to, I'm going to close this window, close this window. And again, if you if you just saw what I did, you had, you had two windows that were open. So you had, you had, I had a description window, and then I had the. Um, So, so pretty much I had access to the different uh, results um, uh, uh, for my SQL statements. So let me do this, I'm going to close these two windows, 
again and then in terms of uh, uh, basically just um, having you know viewing your database objects what you can also do is you can um, so let me minimize this so you again this is my connection HR so if I right click on HR I can actually go to schema browser if I wanted to look at the different objects inside of my schema so click on schema browser and so these are the tables that I have in the HR schema and uh, these are different views that I have, indexes, packages, procedures, and so forth. So I'm going to um, bring this back up. And again, so if I do not want to use this uh, connection, um, uh, connection, um, this, this uh, access to schema objects in this, in this navigation window, then I will just close this out and go back to my regular connection. Um, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you guys next time.